Hello. So, the next book that I'm going to talk about is a book called Dragon Assassin, Twin Fury. Um, I don't really know what I expected with this book, but uh, it's still one of the short ones, so it's not quite... There's not quite as much to talk about yet, but it has a sequel, and I own the sequel, so I'm going to read it. Anyway, um... It is a 2019 book by a man named Arthur Slade, and I Arthur Slade, sorry. And I think it might be a YA book, which is why it confuses me when people say that they don't like YA. That they don't like people who don't like whole genres confuse me because, like, well, you haven't read every single book in that genre, so how do you know you like nothing in the genre? Sure, maybe you have a bad track record with the genre, but I still think that you should give all books a chance and not dismiss them purely based on their genre. I keep reading erotica and I keep having a very bad time with it. Anyway, so there's this girl, her name is um, Carmen. Carmen has a problem with her eye and her brother is the reason behind it. He caused some sort of accident that made her lose her eye and she went from being top of the class to being bottom of the class and no one wants to help her because when she was top of the class she was kind of obnoxious like most smart kids are when they have nobody who's there to challenge them and like make them feel like they actually have to do things in order to succeed. Um, so she almost doesn't graduate and for some reason, I don't remember what the reason was, she has to get a black swan egg so that she can like prove that she can still be a dragon assassin. Dragon assassins are also a dying art. Like people don't really use them anymore and people don't really trust them because like they have tons and tons of secrets that they're not willing to share with the king and all of his people. So the king doesn't really like them. Um. She falls down a cliff while she's trying to get the black swan egg and she meets the dragon and the dragon is named Brax. Brax is stuck inside the cast inside the cave because he was trapped there by some sort of mage or something like that. And um Carmen is looking for a spell so that she can free him, but the king is assassinated and this is a problem because that casts doubt on all dragon assassins and we don't like that because we are dragon assassins so this is a problem um she's servant to some asshole girl this is a loom tool she's servant to some asshole girl named megan because she was rude to megan but it's like everybody's being mean to me now like i get it it's like in, there's this anime called life at the end of it the um bully girl becomes the bullied once it's found out that every all the reasons that she bullied the original girl like they weren't true and she's the original girl's actually a victim and everybody started bullying her and it's like that's not going to solve the problem but whatever i guess that's that's cool if you can hear all that talking in the background that's because one of my housemates is having like a D, &D type deal um they're very loud and i apologize so um, some cruel dude is now next in line. I think it's one of the king's sons. He's like an asshole and we don't want him to be next in line, but he is next in line. So here we go. And, uh, Corwin is being a creep and wants to get her away from Megan, but Carmen has kind of just accepted her fate now because really, what are you going to do? And then a coup d'etat happens at the college and Corwin has decided that he's going to like take over and kill everybody. I'm not entirely sure why, but I imagine that in the next book I'll find out why. And Carmen refuses to go with him even though she's like she's like his sister. She's his sister and they're twins, but he's been like an asshole to her this entire time. So she doesn't want to really go with him and he thinks that he's killed her, but Carmen ends up back with Brax the dragon. And she decides that I'm going to free you, but you need to bind yourself to me and also give me one of your dragon eyes because it'll it'll just grow back because dragons in this world, like people took the lizard, the, this author took the lizard part of them and made it more literal. Dragons can just regrow body parts in this world. So he gives her one of his eyes so that she can see and they're going to take down Corwin together. What's going to keep Brax loyal to her? I have no idea, but I suppose I'll find out in the next book. I think there are only like five, so I'm hoping that the next one is a little bit longer than this. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, the chapters are very short, but it's very to the point. And I'm wondering why Corman helped those guys who took over the castle. They're also the ones who assassinated the king, I assume. And, um... I was totally cool to read about Carmen being successful in overcoming adversity. Like if she had ended up like becoming an assassin and she was given like a really, really hard task. And I was totally prepared to read about all of that. But I'm totally cool with where this went. Um, usually whenever I say like an alternate story, it's usually because the book is bad. But that's just to prove a point. I'm totally cool with how this ended up. It's not your typical um, coming of age story. I'll call it. I'll say that. Um... It does feel like it was a little bit fast, and I feel like by the third book, kind of like Rave with Raven's Harem, I feel like I'm gonna know if it should have been like lo three longer books rather than five short books. Um, the short chapters don't transition very well. Don't transition like in Vampire Sword. So like, sorry, they transition. They do transition well. They don't transition like they do in Vampire Sword, where it's like. At the end of all of those chapters, it felt like it should have been a dun-dun-dun type moment. In this book, it just, the transitions just happened. And um, I actually ended up liking this book uh, kind of the same as Black God's Drums at first, but then it ended up being beneath it because I was trying not to do the, um, the like sharing a line thing. So it's under Black God's Drums, but there's not a whole lot of space. So like, and the other books... I justify why, even though I don't think I'm reading any of their sequels. I still justify why they go up above um, Dragon Assassin. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do two books. The next book is unfortunately called City of Wishes. And um, it's, it's a 2019 book. And I didn't super enjoy this book. It's right above Demon in a Jazz Bar. Um, it's listed genres are fairy tale, urban fantasy, and contemporary fantasy, and it's a retelling of Cinderella. So Elle is Cinderella, obviously. She's a human. She's a slave to her stepmother and her sisters, except for one sister. Well, there's one sister who actually likes her, and Elle has the power to wipe memories, and, um, that's cool. And, uh, she collects this thing called essence and if she collects enough of it then she can make a level three wish and she wants to uh, she wants to get away with her and the sister who like her um there's a fairy named dex who he kind of likes her him and his two friends are looking for vampire extremist group uh some vampires also want l i'm not entirely sure why i'm not reading the next ones this book was excruciating um her step family are like the mom and the hateful sister they use Elle's power to like trick men into falling in love with the other sister and then like they take all their money and wipe their memory so that they don't remember anything and um yeah now they want to pull this con on the prince and angry sister could be queen which i don't understand why they'd want to do that because i mean you can't wipe everybody's memory so i don't exactly know how that's gonna work um, the price of wishes has gone up, so Elle needs to get more essence, and, um, she goes to a bar called the Topaz Lounge, and she gets kidnapped, and Dex and his friends save her, and the vampires come to the house and hurt the bitch sister, so bitch mother hurt Elle and good sister, and Elle makes a deal with Dex to be bait for the vampires. We don't actually know why the vampires want her, but whatever. Um, Dex is very obviously the love interest, which I do not like, because I don't like obvious love interests. Um, the world is cool, I guess. I mean, I always take issue with books that involve slavery, because, I mean, you know, for obvious reasons. And I just, I felt very meh about this book. The only reason it's above Demon in a Jazz Bar is because it's longer, so there's more to develop under. But, I mean, I don't like it more than that book by very much. So, yeah. Um... All of these short books at the beginning are probably going to always end up being uh, two videos together. Because until the book is longer and there's more plot for me to talk about, then I don't really... You know what I'm saying. I, I shouldn't film these videos at night. I'm very tired. Um, but, yeah. Yeah.